I've done no research on the subject. I've not looked up a single other facts or anything like that. But me being me, you can just take this as sometime in the future they're going to find me to be right. Like, I'm not going to go through the work of proving myself right because I already know I'm right. Why would I do that? That's for somebody else to do. Maybe not everyone is meant to be human. Think about it. There are dogs that act more like people than people do. You know? They're kind, they're sweet, they try and talk. I've seen a dog cook once. It made a creme brulee that was to die for. Alright, I didn't eat it, but it made it. Because it was dog fur in the brulee. And that's just not. <sighs> but really, I mean, have you ever woken up and you just said to yourself, man, look at my said animal. Or Look at the animal that I'm driving to work and seeing in the sky or beside the road. Not on the road, because if it's on the road, chances are you don't want to be that guy. No, 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 no. You don't want to be that. But, um, and you said to yourself, life would be so much easier as, like, let's take, let's take the most common animals. A dog or a cat. He lays around him. You get fed, people pet you, if you're an outdoor dog, that, that kind of can suck sometimes, but really you don't do it. You don't go to work. You don't have bills to pay. All you do is eat crap, bark, and play. That's, that's like the, the ideal life. It's like if you could stay a baby your whole life. What if you wanted to be a mythical creature like a centaur? Would you do it? I mean, would you do it? Think about how awesome that would be. Think about how much money you would save. Like, hey, you want to go to Vegas? Plane tickets are so and so priced. And you're like, nah, nah. I'll just ride myself to Vegas. Why? Well, Cause I'm part horse back there. And that's what we do. It's like the uh, stagecoach all over again. I mean, that would be awesome. Or, or eagles wings. I don't. I don't think it would work. But you could have. It. And you would just be like, oh, watch me unfurl my wings. Awesome, awesome. And then, and then, because they're obviously not functional, because you have still the bone structure of a human and. You're all big and stuff. But you have, that was me plucking a wing, and you have the best pins now. You've got eagle's wings. You've got yourself eagle wings. Okay, think about it. You go to an eagle's concert and you want to furl your eagle wings? Whew, that is a recipe for goodness, if I do say so. Mm. People that just thrive and strive in water. Maybe they were actually meant to be a fish. You just just look at your friend Joe. They're like, man, when you get in water, you just, just come to life. You're the life of the party. You're talk more. You're having fun. You're smiling. You're making jokes. You're doing things. You're entertaining people, man. When he's in the water, this dude can play symphonies on piano. You take him out of that, and he's just some schmuck that can barely move. Ask the hard questions. People ask these, you know, non-hard questions. They ask questions like paper or plastic. How would you like your eggs? Do you want fried? Those aren't hard questions. You want the hard questions, you gotta ask the hard questions. What type of animal are you? What does that mean about you? Hmm? Me, myself, if I were an animal, you know what type of animal I would be? A target grade. Don't know what it is, look it up. So let's say you realize to yourself that hey, maybe I'm part alligator and maybe I'm part orangutan. 
So now you start working your jog and your lock jog down. And you're, like, and you're hanging from trees. And you're listening to Mozart. That's three. Three. You walk into. Well, well what, what would you walk into? That's three. Think about it. You walk into any audition. 